Come here. Uh oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop. Still got the moves. The woman's escape made her regret it a lot. The woman acted like a child when confronted by the police. A spoiled daughter calls her dad for help when she gets into trouble with the police. A drunk chef gets into trouble after leaving a party. On November 10, 2023, the police responded to a call regarding a woman suspected of petty theft. The police chased her to a location where she was hiding behind a stall. Come here. Don't buck. Go over there. Wow. Come here. Uh -oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop. Still got the moves. <laughs> As the police approached, she tried to run away but ended up colliding with the pole, breaking her teeth momentarily and briefly losing consciousness. I need help. Please, I need my thing. Okay. I'm my phone. Hang on, wait. I'm Put it behind you, behind. All right, stop okay. resisting. You got three of us here, all right? All right, I'm sorry. Leg, cut my teeth. Yeah, all right. Hey, oh, I'm taking this out of her hand because it keeps ringing. It ran, huh? Let, let, I need this one. Let go. Mom. Nope. nope, we're not doing that, all right? I will bend this back if we have to. Mom, right, here we go. Stay under that because I don't want her to do that, okay? Uh-oh, uh, my she drop. Me up, I didn't see her drop. Oh, my mom, I need to call my mom, please. Absolutely. Right. Please don't take me. Where are you going? I didn't do nothing, man. I just was trying to contact and see what was going on. During the investigation, she repeatedly insisted she did nothing wrong and was trying to clarify her situation with the police. The police arrested her without further incident, handcuffing her on the spot. Sir, please. What? We're going to have a long time to talk. I don't want a long time to talk because I was trying to verify myself with the police. So that's why I thought when you were running after me, I thought that y'all was trying to blame me for what's going on. And I didn't do anything. I got you. That's what I'm saying. Can I please call the peace, sir? Please, sir, please. Okay, step down, watch your Let's get us off. I don't mind getting it out. Can you please call the peace? I just brushed my mouth. Yeah, that was quite the uh, spill you took. This ain't gonna go very well. It's not gonna go well if you don't work with me. I don't want you Back up. Back up. Sure, she on my leg. I appreciate your help. Anything? Nope. You're okay. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Despite her claims of innocence and attempts to explain her actions, including calling the police herself, she was ultimately arrested for resisting arrest. Yes. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm listening. I just got off the phone with them. I called to verify it. What was going on? So I'm just trying to figure out why was you running after me? That's why I didn't understand. I didn't really run after you. Huh? I didn't really run after you. You did. You said you was looking for me, Gracious. That's what I'm trying to tell to you, sir. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kristen. This is Officer Khan with the Daytona Beach Police Department. Did you call about some girl from the Dunkin' Donuts? All right, we have a girl over here. I need someone to ID her. Authorities confirmed off-duty police officers and other witnesses were present to verify the events leading to her arrest. The involved officer clarified that he did not throw her to the ground or use excessive force, but merely subdued her after she collided with the pole. Sir. Come on out of there. Mm -hmm. She is going to search you. Oh, they had me running from him, and I didn't even do what they said that I did. That's what's so crazy. Can you turn another face car for me? Please. Face the car for me, please. Okay. Yes. Try to have a seat for me. She runs into a metal pole, blows out her tooth, her tooth is right. and knocks herself out just for like a a second or two and had she just stopped and talked to me she would the girl didn't want to come do an id so she would have been cut so there's no ids at the coach store if you've got a girl over here or a guy hey come look id this guy uh-uh corporate policy uh my uh my ah so 
Now you got just resisting arrest? Not just a little, oh, another feel, you know, fell in oh, the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like that. The incident concluded with the suspect's arrest while the issue of the petty theft was temporarily resolved, pending further investigation. In the next incident, the police conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that was stopped unusually in the middle of the road with flashing lights. Upon approaching the car, the police saw the woman in the driver's seat extending her hand out of the car window with her driver's license. Have you been drinking tonight? No, I'm trying to talk to my kid. Okay, I can smell alcohol coming off. What are you trying to get to, ma'am? This thing. What is this thing? This, the lights. Okay. Lights, the lights. And you haven't been drinking tonight? No. I can smell alcohol. I'm not. I can smell the odor of alcoholic beverages there's coming nothing, from the car. Dude, okay, well, I can nothing. smell it. Okay. There's nothing to smell. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna have you step out of the car, ma'am, okay? We're gonna go to the front of the car and sit on the hood. No, I'm not gonna do that. This behavior indicated that the female driver was showing abnormal signs. Additionally, the police detected a strong smell of alcohol emanating from her. I suggest yeah. that you get out of the car, ma'am. I don't think you think you, I don't. I know. Ma'am, we have every legal right to ask you to step out of the car. But why? He's already explained it to you. Have you in your lawful order, you need to exit the vehicle. No, I don't need to do anything. I've already been here and I've done that. I'm been not, there and done what? No, I don't need to do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. You got slurred speech. I need you to exit the vehicle or I will remove you from the vehicle. Why? 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 Please explain it, ma'am. Because at this point, we believe you might be intoxicated. Why? So determine that. He's explained that to you already, so I don't know if you're not understanding or not hearing. No, I hear it. Okay. And I all we're asking you right now no, is no, step no. to the front of the car. Please do not. Please do not. The options are you get out and sit in the car, or we're going to pull you up and put you in hand please and just sit in the back seat of the patrol car. Please do not. Please do Those not. Those are your two options right now. So. Can, you, can you talk Please. to my child? We'll take care of that. The routine traffic check quickly escalated into a confrontation when the woman refused to cooperate with the police. After multiple requests, the woman got out of the car and the police promptly conducted field sobriety tests, which she protested, citing personal health issues. Because until we determine if you're intoxicated, we don't want you behind the wheel of the vehicle. I am not intoxicated. I literally am not. I literally came out to be not intoxicated. Okay. I don't want to do this. I don't. You guys are so f not cool. I'm sorry? What's your name? Angelique. Like, like, what, 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 what? I'm just trying to ask you what your name is. I'm not stupid. At no point have I ever said that you were stupid. You never did, no. Nope. But this is still definitely stupid. Well, I guess we'll see. I smell the odor of alcoholic beverages coming from your person. That's why I asked you to pull over here, right? No, you didn't. I actually pulled over by myself. After I told you to pull over. I pulled over. Okay. I pulled over. Sure. Ma'am, do you want to just walk back? and talk I to I don't me want to do anything. Here. You don't want to do anything? Okay. No, nope. uh, at this point, because he's being belligerent. Well, I'm, I'm going to walk no, away with you. He, okay, I'm going to separate you from... Being, he is being belligerent. I'm okay. not doing anything with him. Okay, I'm going to no, separate... No, I'm not being with him. can you please stop interrupting me? I said I was going to separate you from him. You can come back with me and talk to me, okay? No, I don't want to do anything with you. Well, you, you're going to need to... No, I'm not going to do anything with, with you. Me. I can smell the alcohol oh, coming yeah, out of your yeah, breath. Yeah, yeah, you say that because he said no, that. No, I can smell it because you're talking and the wind I, is blowing directly into my face. It's not any alcohol. Do you feel the wind at your back? Well, yes, that wind, I I'm feel standing it. right in front of I you. I have no alcohol on me. Nothing, nothing. Go ahead. Blow, 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 go, go ahead. Okay, would you like to, would you like to no, perform some you. field no, coordination no, exercises? No, Because okay. I've done for no, thank you. No, thank you. May I please look at your eyes? But I have to say, I have my, my... What, what's wrong? I have issues with my... With what? With my, like, medical stuff. You have, you have a disability? Yes. What would so that be? So don't do any that. Don't do that. Do what? Don't do the thing with the thing with the thing. What thing with the thing? No, don't do that. Because I have. As the situation grew more tense, the police read the woman her rights and suspected her of driving under the influence of alcohol.
Okay, bitch. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Why? You have the Why? right to talk Why? to a lawyer and have your lawyer present with you while you are being questioned. Why? Why? If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, Why? one will be appointed to represent you before questioning. If There's you decide to answer here. any questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering at any time and speak with a lawyer. You may use any of these rights at any time during the interview. You're you understand these rights I've read to you? No, I don't. What don't you understand about it? I don't it? understand any of the rights. No. I what don't, don't you understand? I don't understand them. You have the right I don't to understand. a lawyer? No, I don't understand any of them. Why are you saying that? Because you said I have to understand them. I don't understand them. What Sorry, is it that you don't understand? I don't understand them. Sorry, I don't. Okay, do you understand that? Here's here's what I'm gonna tell you, okay? You acting like a child, I'm not crossing acting your like arms child. And, and saying these things no, are going to change the fact no. that I smell the odor of alcohol no, on you. I'm, you I'm, have strange behavior. Stop, stop, You're being stop, belligerent. Stop. You are you are unable to complete a sentence or thought I am when you're trying to. A, I am it. able. Despite her continuous resistance and arguments with the police, she was ultimately arrested for assaulting an officer, resisting arrest, and driving under the influence. Take a walk with me. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I don't want to. I don't know what to do. I don't want to. You know why? I'm, I'm, no, I'm don't, don't do that. No. Why? 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 Why are you doing that? Why? Because I'm not playing this game. Give me every opportunity to comply. Why? Why? Because why? you are intoxicated. That is why. And this is going to be your second DUI. I've been there, okay? Please don't. Please I, I, don't if anybody please understands, don't. it's me. Please don't. Please don't. I, I just want to start this She was taken to the Indian River County Jail, where she reluctantly provided a breath sample, resulting in a BAC significantly higher than the legal limit. This incident marked the woman's second DUI offense, leading to serious legal consequences. On May 20, 2023, a police officer on patrol spotted a Honda Civic speeding on the road. He estimated the car was going about 70 miles per hour in the 50 mile per hour zone. Good evening, I'm Officer Flink, Palm Beach Gardens. The reason I pulled you over, you were speeding. Do you have your license, registration, insurance? There we go. When approaching the vehicle, the officer noticed two women inside. During the initial investigation with the driver, the officer detected signs indicating the driver might be under the influence of substances. Well, you had to have gotten Johnny Mangos, too. She, she got that wristband from there. All right, while you look for your insurance, no, that's fine. while you look for your insurance, I'm going to check your ID out, all right? All right, Mr. Rodriguez, you found your insurance? Next. All right, sweet. So how much have you had to drink tonight? Nothing. Nothing at all? Smoking marijuana? Taking any narcotics? Do anything? Okay. All right, I'm worried that you might be under the influence, so I want to do some roadside exercise with you to make sure that you're not, that you're good to drive, right? Okay, well, you can't drive right now, so. No, I don't I don't know if you can. I got to make sure that you're not under the influence. So if you would go ahead and. Acknowledging the fact that I'm not under the influence, I'm sorry. You just talked in a circle. I did not either. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Here, go ahead and step out with me. I'll make sure that you're not under the influence and we'll have you on your way home, all right? It's that easy. The police requested the driver to step out, but she refused. Eventually, she agreed to participate in the roadside alcohol tests. Yeah, I, you're forcing me out here. I've asked yeah. you twice, ma'am. I don't want to ask you a third time because then I'm going to have to make you get out of the car, okay? Yeah, that's weird. I don't it know is very weird. Doing that with me. That's so please come out. I don't want to force you out, okay? I don't I, want to pull you I out. I don't want you to either. All right, so come on out don't with me. Don't do that. I'm being very wrong. That's so weird. You're being what? You're being weird. No, I'm not. I think that you're under the influence. I think that's the issue. So let's go ahead and step over here. Do you have any medical condition with your no, eyes not correct not. by glasses? No. Can you walk a straight line? Yes, I can. And can you bounce on one foot? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm going to ask you real quick. Do you want to participate in standardized field sobriety I don't. exercises? I don't. Okay, so I got to advise you something called your Taylor warnings. Don't do these exercises. You're not going to dispel my concern that you're driving under the influence. Next, you're going to force me to make an arrest based on the totality of the circumstances as I know them to this point. And last, it will be used against you in court. Do you understand all those? Yes, I do. I okay. Very dramatic. 
No, I'm not. Are you willing to do the roadside exercises? No, I'm not. However, she adamantly refused to participate in any tests, hindering the officer's ability to assess her condition and handle the situation appropriately. Okay, so you're being placed under arrest for driving under the influence. Nope. You told me you understood. Double action? No, quick. That was pretty move, bro. All right, come on over here. Trap 13. Okay, well, that's the reason you're under arrest. You didn't do the exercises. Adult female 10 15 signal one. May I have a female for a pat down, please? No, you told me you understood Taylor warnings, which said that you would be placed under arrest if you didn't do the exercises. And then, not even 10 seconds later, I asked, Do you want to do the exercises? And you said, No. Taylor warning said you'd be placed under arrest if you don't do the exercises. So, go ahead and take a seat in here. Come on. Go ahead and take a seat. Come on, man. I don't. No. You're, now you're under arrest, so you can't go home. You can go home later, but you can't go home right now. So go and swing your legs in there. I don't want to force you to do these things, man. Please just do it on your own. Okay? A female officer's coming to give you a search. She's saying she's good. Well, I'll check her out to determine that. You want to come out here and talk to him? So he can check you out. And then if you're good to drive, you can go on your way. And we're just going to check your eyes real quick, all right? You're not under any trouble. My eyes? Yeah, see if you're that, under any trouble. How can that can be anything? Well, that's part of the whole exercise. Oh, okay. Yeah, the it's whole, scientific okay. stuff. And all right, so bring your feet together. what is my friend doing? She's under arrest for DUI. DUI? Yeah, she refused to do the exercises. So I, I can check you out. If you're not under the influence, then you can drive. But if you don't let me check you out, then I have to I have to side with my, my gut feeling that you might be under the influence and that you can't drive either because I don't I don't want you to get arrested as well. Serious, because you you're not in trouble. You want me to get... Okay. You're so not in trouble right now. So just bring your feet together, hands to your sides. All right, so you see this red light? Yes. Just follow the red light with your eyes only and keep your head still. No, don't move your head. You see it right away. All right, so no, yes. you're, you're oh over. Oh my you're over gosh, I am not so, over. No, you're, you shouldn't be driving. You have instant, I promise you have you. like immediate onset of nystagmus. Dude, you could put you any, saw it too. Uh, you could do that to anybody. I promise you, sir. All right, so is this wallet the only thing that's yours? I promise you, sir, I am not. Just run her 27 oh. for me. Oh, I promise you, yes. Uh, Christmas. I promise you, there's nothing. We'll call it 1070. Okay. So, wait. I will. They're trying to. There's nothing in here. I promise right here, you. Go over there. Come on, man. Where? Right here with me. Come. Ultimately, she was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence of substances and placed in the police car as per standard procedure. Meanwhile, her companion was checked and confirmed not to be intoxicated, and she was allowed to call a relative to pick her up. This incident serves as a costly lesson for those who disregard traffic laws and personal safety. In a recent incident, a chef was arrested on suspicion of driving while intoxicated DWI. After a long night at a party, the woman was stopped by the police due to her erratic driving behavior. Kevin, Officer Hi. McMillan. How are you? I'm good, yourself? I'm great. What's the hurry for? Hmm? What was the with the hurry? I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Okay. Yeah, I had a long party tonight, but I'm good. Okay. How I much you drink tonight? Road. Well, how much you drink yeah, tonight? Nothing. Nothing? No, I had like a beer, but that's it. Yeah, a beer. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Do you have your registration? Okay. Do you have your registration insurance card? Uh, this is his car. Okay. So I'm not sure where it is. Okay. I can look for it if you want. All right. Yep. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Based on her admission of drinking, the police conducted sobriety tests on the woman. Okay. Where are you coming from? Uh, I'm coming from the Green Olive. I'm a chef. Okay. So I was cooking tonight. Okay. And literally, I have a cold really bad, and I've been, like, suffering from a cold, so I just feel really tired. I work at 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you drink anything tonight? I had one beer. One beer? What That's time was that at? Oh, God. Like, at, like... 6 a.m. Not 6 a.m. Sorry, 6 p.m. I'm like 6 a.m. It's my time. It's so hard. Okay. Um, and what time did you leave? Where's Green Olive at? It's Sussex. What town? Sussex County? Yeah, Sussex. Yeah. Green Olive. Um, Township? Yeah. Right by Sussex. It's in Sussex. It's in Sussex. That's yeah, yeah. that's the town it's in? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can look it up. Okay. What time did you leave there at? Um, just like an hour ago because that's about to take... What time did you take my boyfriend? I'm so tired. Okay. Yeah. So it took you an hour to get from Sussex to here? Not an hour. 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, do me a favor. Step out of the car for me. Sure. Can I try to uh, pick off? Yeah. 
Yep. Just so you know, you're being recorded, okay? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Come to the front of the car with me. That's fine. She struggled with the tests, citing cold symptoms, a broken toe, and poor hearing as complications. Your eyes are all right? Yes. Okay. My eyes are perfect. Okay, good. Yeah. What you're going to do is follow the tip of my pen. Got it. See the tip of my pen? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Just keep your eyes on the tip of my pen. I see it. Okay. Don't move your head. Nope. Just move your eyes. Okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Just your eyes. Oh, sorry. Okay, straighten out. There you go. Okay. You have any other shoes in the car? Can no. you walk all right in those heels? Oh, little I feel heels? bad. I have a broken toe in this one. So you can see that this one's a little broken and this leg's been a little swollen. But yeah, no. You have a I, broken toe in your I do. on your toe or on your shoe? This back, this back toe is broken right here. I'm a chef and I hit it the other day and I was like, oh my God. So the whole thing is broken. Yeah. It's broken. Yeah, yeah, it's broken. Okay. What you're going to do mm-hmm. with your hands by your side. Like this or like By this? your side, yeah. Okay. Put your right foot on the line. Yep. Hands by your side. Right foot in front of your, or left foot in front of your right foot on the line. That foot hurts really bad. Okay. Well, it's hard because okay. I'm so cold. All right, put your boots back on. Hands by your side. Right. This next test, what I want you to do, watch me, okay? Left foot, you're going to raise it six inches off the ground. Toe pointed down. Like you're going to look you? at Down. Stand like I'm telling you. Whoa! Whoa, okay. whoa, Sorry. Sorry, right. I have really bad hearing. Throughout the interaction, she continuously insisted that she was merely tired. The situation worsened when she failed to perform the field sobriety tests satisfactorily. Can we have a road for suspicion of driving under the influence? All right, that's fine. Please don't hurt me, please. I'm not going to hurt you. Why would we hurt you? I'm so sick. I have, like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm here. Can we go to the left side of my car? The police explained the arrest and the chef's continued effort to downplay the situation, emphasizing her physical discomfort and her desire to go home. Ma'am, I just got to read you one thing. It's your, it's your Miranda rights. We, we have to read them. So, and then you're going to answer the question I have to follow that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions you make or make any statements. I have read you your Miranda rights and do you understand them? I mean, I've never read them before, but I guess I do. You un- so you understand them? Sure. I'm okay. Left. So what do I have you do? You're going to sign here? Okay. I'm a lefty. That's fine. Put my left foot. This one. Yep. That one right there. That's thank good. You. Yeah, thank you. All right. And just... Yeah. So um, if you just want to stand up from here, I just have to pat you down. Sure. 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 Ow. That hurt. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. All right, Carrie, I'm going to read you another thing, okay? All right. So, reason you were arrested, you have been arrested driving while intoxicated, which is NJS Act 39-4-50, which is the, the code for that. All right. The law is... The law requires you to submit samples of your breaths for the purpose of testing to determine alcohol content. Sure. A record of the... I'm just going to read them all. You don't have to respond. Okay. Oh, and then... Sorry, and then I'll, I didn't know. No, no, you're good. You're good. And then I'm going to... I'll ask a question at the end. Okay. Uh, a record of the taking of the breath, breath samples include the test results will be made upon your request. A copy of the record will be made available for you or to you. After you provide samples of your breath for testing, you have the right to have a person or physician of your own selection take independent samples of your breath, blood, urine, or independent testing. If you refuse to provide samples of the breath, you will be issued a separate summons for the refusal. A court might find you guilty of both refusal and driving while intoxicated. If the court finds you guilty of refusal to the various penalties, including license for revocation up to 20 years, a fine up to $2,000, installation of interlock, and referral to an intoxicated driver resource center, the penalties may be additional to the penalties imposed by the court for those 
for any other offense which you may be found guilty of. No legal right to have an attorney or physician or anyone else present for the purpose of taking breath samples. You have no legal right to refuse to give or delay samples, breaths, uh, samples of your breath. The situation deteriorated further when the woman failed multiple field sobriety tests administered by the police. Ultimately, the police decided to arrest her for driving under the influence after she could not successfully complete the sobriety tests and showed signs of alcohol use. She was taken to a local police station for further processing, including a breathalyzer test. What do you think about the arrest in today's video? Leave your thoughts on the case you found most interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch exciting videos. Thank you and have a great day.